Charlemagne Say the gang dunk it of the day You are a donkey <laughs> It's time for donkey of the day Donkey of the day does not discriminate I might not have the song of the day But I got the donkey of the day So if you ever feel I need to be a donkey man <laughs> Hit me with the heat Yeah, it's a breakfast club, bitches Who's donkey of the day today? Yes, donkey of the day for Monday, November 7th goes to salt and straw ice cream. First of all, I can't stand the disrespect that is shown to Thanksgiving. Now, I totally understand why Native Americans don't respect Thanksgiving. A lot of Native Americans uh, feel as if Thanksgiving is the official U.S. celebration of the survival of early arrivals in a European invasion that culminated in the death of 10 to 30 million Native people. So I understand why Native Americans don't respect Thanksgiving, but that's not the disrespect I'm talking about, okay? The disrespect I'm talking about is strictly on a commercial level, all right? Thanksgiving, over the past few years, has been getting disrespected, disregarded, treated like a bumper in between Halloween and Christmas, okay? Halloween, people have decorations all over their houses, their stores, it's Halloween commercials, and after Halloween, it seems people fast forward right to Christmas. I see Christmas decorations up already as if Thanksgiving has already passed and I'm sick of it personally. I like Thanksgiving, okay? Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving's usually on a Thursday. It's always on a Thursday, right? Mm -hmm. I take the whole week off to enjoy that moment and I would like to think that people are enjoying the moment as much as me. Now, this brings me to the case of salt and scraw ice cream. Sometimes <laughs> people make attempts to do good things and often those attempts are poor. When the attempt is poor, I'm always torn. I don't know if I should applaud them for trying or slander them for the poor attempt. In this case, I chose slander. See, salt and scraw ice cream is getting into the Thanksgiving spirit, and they're doing what I want people to do, which is show Thanksgiving some respect. But they had to disrespect the greatness that is ice cream to do it. Let's go to USA Today to hear all about it. Attention Turkey Day lovers. You can now try a whole six-course Thanksgiving meal in ice cream form. The good people at the handmade ice cream shop, Salt and Straws, want to make the holiday a little sweeter this year. Who said mashed potatoes and ice cream don't go well together? The butter, yeah. mashed potato, and gravy flavor is made with salty and buttery whipped and frozen potatoes with a swirl of chocolate gravy. And turkey lovers have got to try the salted caramel Thanksgiving turkey. Sweet and buttery turkey is folded into a turkey fat caramel ice cream with handmade fried turkey skin brittle. For stuffing needs, try the cranberry walnut stuffing or the cow. California acorn chestnut stuffing. Feast your eyes on sweet potato casserole ice cream, balanced with maple syrup, marshmallows, and pecans. And for dessert, spice goat cheese and pumpkin pie ice cream is the last flavor to finish this Thanksgiving meal. Don't waste time in the kitchen. For $65, you can order the six flavor bundle that would probably taste better than the overcooked turkey you avoid making every year. That commercial makes me want a boo boo. I'm already lactose intolerant, okay? I can feel my stomach bubbling and running right now. If I was there those ever. Flavors sounded all right. No, 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 uh -uh. no, no. <laughs> okay, all the flavors of a roasted turkey, its juices and caramelized onions underneath packed into a turkey fat caramel ice cream, then speckled with handmade fried turkey skin brittle. I don't get high enough to enjoy that. Okay, buttered mashed potatoes and gravy ice cream. L listen to the question she posed to the people in this commercial. Listen. Who said mashed potatoes and ice cream don't go well together? Who said they do? Who are these terrorists, these members of ISIS who are sitting around talking about mixing mashed potatoes and ice cream? Who? Well, in all fairness, mashed potatoes looks like ice cream kind of sometimes. Oh, come on, ye. <laughs> Stuffing ice cream? You know how kids always want dessert <laughs> over dinner? Offer them this roasted turkey ice cream, and I bet you they will be begging you to eat regular dinner. I guarantee you the same people who would actually buy Thanksgiving ice cream from Salt and Scraw also buy the Kentucky Fried Chicken sunscreen from KFC. They've also eaten the Krispy Kreme Luther Burger, which has donuts in the bun and bacon and cheese. Yuck. The sweet okay. potato casserole sounds good. That did sound right. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> gonna lie. Only because I like sweet potatoes. I like oh, a nice don't. sweet potato souffle. Listen. Okay, I like sweet potato I'm anything. I'm not gonna lie. That I'm one not sounded gonna lie. all right. That sounds pretty okay. No, it does. <laughs> all right. Salt and straw ice cream. I guess I have to respect the fact that you guys are at least tempted to get in the Thanksgiving spirit. You get an E for effort, but nah. Please give salt and straw ice cream the biggest heart, please. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The Breakfast Club.